Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about hypopituitarism. And it's going to be represented by these hippos at the pitcher's mound. Hippo at pitchers for hypopituitarism. So hypopituitarism is when, when there's an under secretion of pituitary hormones. And this can be due to multiple things. And let's talk about that. And at the end, we'll talk about treatment. So here we go. So on first base over here, we have this guy, the crane with the pharaoh. It's like the pharaoh's hat thing. Crane with pharaoh for craniopharyngioma. A craniopharyngioma, which is often seen in children, is a rare type of non-cancerous benign brain tumor, and it can compress the pituitary, thus releasing the production of hormones. That's one cause of hypopituitarism. Then we have the non-secreting pituitary adenoma. That's represented by this I don't know guy. He's like the question mark, I don't know sign. He has NS to help us remember non-secreting. It's a non-functional pituitary adenoma that can also compress the pituitary and decrease production of the hormones. Okay, let's go to second base. Here we have the hand. It's a she hand, because it's a woman. She hand for she hand syndrome. She hand syndrome is a condition that affects women who lose a life-threatening amount of blood in childbirth or who simply lose a lot of blood during childbirth, and this can have major effects on the pituitary. And this is because during pregnancy, the pituitary doubles in size because it's releasing so many hormones, but the vessels which provide it with blood do not increase in size. So thus, if there's going to be a decrease in blood from the woman from childbirth, that can cause an infarction in the pituitary, and that's known as Sheehan syndrome. And to help us remember that, we have all this blood over here after she gave birth to her son over here. This is what Sheehan syndrome is. Okay, now let's move on to the next cause of hypopituitarism. So here we have the store, and by the way, this store is empty. It's a totally empty store. Empty store for empty cella. Empty cella syndrome is another cause of hypopituitarism. So empty cella syndrome is a rare disorder characterized by enlargement or malformation of a structure in the skull, known as the cella tersica. The cella tersica is a saddle-shaped depression, and this is where the pituitary sits. So if the cella is going to have a, a malformation, it can compress the pituitary, and that's why it is going to be decreased of pituitary hormones. It's interesting that this type of pituitary adenoma is commonly seen in obese women, and it's associated with idiopathic intracranial hypertension. On top of this store over here, we see this ape. Ape over here trying to balance the plexiglass on his head. Ape plexi for apoplexy, pituitary apoplexy. So this is characterized by a sudden hemorrhage of the pituitary gland, often in the presence of an existing pituitary adenoma. He usually presents with sudden onset severe headache as well as visual impairments, and that's why we see he's visually impaired. Often a bitemporal hemianopsia or a diplopia due to cranial nerve 3 palsy, and that's why he has this tree coming out of his head over here to remind us of the cranial nerve 3 palsy. And then finally, we come up to our last causes of hypopituitarism, and that's simply we have this brain over here to remind us of the brain injury, well, the brain exploding for brain injury, and we also have the radiation over here to remind us of radiation. We're going to end off this video with a word on treatment, and this is basically hormone replacement therapy, and that's why we have this HARP over here, HARP for hormone replacement, and this is done in order to replace the hormones that are reduced by the hypopituitarism. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for our next video, and take care.